Stupid magic online. Learn to work. All right. Giant Solifuge. What does that do? So my short list for four drops that I want to try in this deck is like Shaman, Vengevine, and Hazaret. I don't know what Giant Solifuge does though. Trample Shroud Haste. That card's terrible. Stop it. That card sounds really bad. Yeah, that is exactly why I pulled Course of Grufex. It's not aggressive. It could be that maybe I wanted for matchups like Burn, but I just threw an Obstinate Baloth on the board, and we can also just like attack a deck like Burn. All right, try and land. Let's go. It has Shroud. It's got so many keywords. All right, now that we drew another bolt, I'm just going to bolt them upstairs on turn one here. I'm actually curious to see the Tron matchup. We, we have some tools for this matchup, and we have a combo kill, so maybe we're not stone dead here. I'm sure we're just going to get Karned and be dead this game, but remember, Green Sun Zenith and Stoneforge Mystic are too good for Modern. Stoneforge Mystic and Green Sun Zenith are too good for Modern. Remember that while we get Karned here. Just repeat it quietly to yourself while you rock back and forth in a fetal position. Ding. Right? That's, that's literally the argument people make. They're like, it gets dry in Arbor. It's too good, Hogland. Llanowar Elves on one and not Llanowar Elves on turn four is too strong. Please be a worm coil. God bless. We can beat that. Oh, that's a good line, Burgle. Yeah, I probably don't care about my health. Didn't get punished, but probably should have put it into play untapped. You're right. All right, so... I probably want to play this, and I probably just want to diddle their worm coil. Or do I want to diddle their tower? Do I want to diddle the tower, or do I want to diddle the worm coil? Hey, diddle, diddle. Dee, 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 dee. Who do I who do I want to dork here? Man, I'm just well, I'm, we're just not even fucking around. I'm just banning people like that. Just my opponent literally just put a worm coil engine into play on turn three. Could have put a card into play, and you're gonna sit there and tell me with a straight face that that turn three batter skull is too good. No fucking joke. Twitch chat is just a bunch of mouth breathers so much of the time. Just stop repeating the stupid things you've heard said and think about them. Put them in the context of the format that you're playing. Power level is contextual. Yes, turn three batter skull is really good in standard. In a format where you regularly die on the third turn of the game, turn three batter skull is fine. Sorry, sorry it is. And if you wanna if you wanna form a well-reasoned argument and try and articulate yourself as to why you feel differently, like what what is what is the reason? If you can make a well-reasoned argument, I'm willing to listen. But should you just sit there and spew in chat and just be like, nah man, it's too good. Nah, you can go somewhere else. You can go somewhere else. People, and that's why, and that's really why we all right, have a timeout. God, I love Twitch chat in the morning. You should have played Bloodbraid Elf because there's a possibility that I should have played Bloodbraid Elf there. I'm willing to accept that I'm wrong, but you don't just get to come in my chat and say, you're wrong, Hogland, without telling me why I'm wrong. So I love 
to be able to learn and grow as a magic player but I don't learn and grow as a magic player if you just wag your finger at me and tell me I'm stupid. That doesn't help me grow. What does help me grow is saying, you should play Bloodbraid Elf instead of Pestermite because... So here's my logic. I played Pestermite instead of Bloodbraid Elf because I wanted to keep my opponent from playing a big scary this turn. I wanted to keep my opponent from playing a big scary this turn by diddle in their land. We drew Eldritch Evolution. So I can't actually combo them here, which is unfortunate, because I don't have a three drop to Eldritch Evolution off of. So that kind of sucks. Um, so what am I doing here? Are we just slamming the Bloodbraid Elf now? Yeah, I think it's play Elf. Hope to dodge combo next turn. Hope to dodge Karn and Ballista and stuff. We tried. I'm so tired of fucking people BMing in chat. Just like, fuck off. That's, I really wish they'd remove the chat feature on Magic Online. There's no, there's no reason for the chat feature on Magic Online to exist other than to allow people to BM. There's no, there's no, re it's the only purpose the chat function serves on Magic Online is to allow people to BM. Just, just get rid of it, please, Wizards of the Coast. Uh, all right, so what am I doing? What am I doing? So scavenging ooze isn't very good. Um, Fulminator, Blood Moon, Glenelendra, Negate are good. Put Reclamation Sage in my deck because it kills random stuff like uh, Oblivion Stone. Yeah, now look at that. Pretty easy and easy out. Seven cards I don't want, seven cards I do want. I feel like we just, I guess maybe we can win games with Anemic Beats. Let's try the Scab Clan Berserker. I don't hate that. Let's try the Scab Clan Berserker. Have a ban. Get out of here. Ain't nobody got time for you. The only thing I have less time for than you is people that are using Magic Online Chat to be rude. The Renown beats. This is our this is our hate bear for beating Storm, potentially beating Storm. It's pretty good against control decks too. Uh, we have three basic forests and a basic island and a basic mountain. There's literally a deck list on your screen. There's literally, literally a deck list on your screen. Just a reference. Whenever people come in and ask questions that they could easily find the answer to, I'm always amazed. Like, this is why people think I'm good at computers. Because I know how to open Google and find the answer to a question myself. Is this hand good enough? God, have a fucking ban. Get out of here. It's literally on your screen. Click the stream decker button on your screen. My face isn't covering shit. Good lord. Ugh. Ugh. All right. We're going to we're going to try and untilt here. We're going to try and untilt. We've got we had a good a good set of bands. I think Magus, I think the decks you want a Blood Moon effect against have things like Chromatic Star and Chromatic Sphere, or they have access to Lightning Bolt. So Magus of the Moon just doesn't do enough. I think the subset of decks where you want a Blood Moon that don't have red removal are very, very small. Is this hand keepable? What do we think about this hand? Yeah, I don't. It feels it feels kind of slow, right?
sure. That band just gave me another square on my Oakland bingo card. God bless. God bless. All right, let's bottom of land. Um, so this needs to get red, right? So we'll get stomping grounds here. <coughs> we should make Hoagland bingo cards. That sounds fun. Let people be interactive with the stream. Maybe we'll refresh them once a month. Yes, there you go. Look at that. There's the stream decker. Spatial, that's good to know about. Right on time, Quirling Oracle. It's unfortunate, if we would have had that on two, we could have like maybe had this on three. What's going on, Fancy Penguin? Bounding creases. So they left up spatial contortion. So I think I'm just gonna play this. Maybe I'm just supposed to like end step this. If we get a blue source here, perfect. Now we get to do both. Why are we cycling this at my end of turn? I wonder if this deck just like wants a second Kiki Jiki in it to have more combo potential in these matches where we need it. I could see that being real. We have plenty of green, so let's get another red source here. So the real question is, do I play this out into the face of the spatial contortion, or do I try and get them to contortion the bounding crisis? But cycling doesn't use their mana. This doesn't cost you a mana to use. So using this like there doesn't I guess they wanted to hold up continue holding up mana. Sweet, that's great for us. That gives me a free a free run to just go ahead and slam my shaman here. We get an Eldritch Evolution, sweet. Alright, hit you for five, have seven power in play. So Walking Ballista maybe, or a Thought Not Seer. Feels like an X spell. I'm gonna start by drawing a card here. Do I need to Fulminator them? 
I kind of like Rex Sage hit them with Shaman. I kind of like Rex Sage hit them with Shaman. Just like put them to 10. I don't have a Thrag Tusk in my deck. Oh, you're saying they could Thrag Tusk me next turn. Yeah, maybe. But, like, I can't attack this. Can I attack this into this? Yeah, that works, right? Because if they block, it dies. Yeah, damage doesn't use the stack. All right, so... I guess I just Coiling Oracle then. You, do you think I'm supposed to Fulminator them this turn? Eh, I'm just going to Coiling Oracle. Let's see what we get. Good old birds of paradise. They could fog here, that's true. They could block and double shoot this. Yep. Nah, they're they're gonna ping the two two. If they ping this, I'm I'm fine with that. Get some mana into play here. Cause the other coiling oracle had a one one counter from hitting them last turn. Sure. Do I just try and kill them? Do I just try and kill them? If they had a dismember, they would have played it by now, right? They're like 100% would have played a dismember by now. Looks like they're auto passing. Yeah, they're auto passing. Twin you. Yeah, honestly, I'm I'm not sure, Zach, if Pestermite or Bounding Crisis is the better creature in this deck. I kind of have a split right now because of Evolution. I'm, un I'm unsure which is actually better. Maybe a Braid is good just because of Walking Ballista, but I don't really have another card I want to cut. Tagging O-Stone 2 also isn't terrible. Sands great. And is very good. Put up Mulligan to five. Go to four. Go to four. Go to four. Oh, you know what? This was wrong. I should have let on the breeding pool when I drew it because I want to fetch basic forest with this right now to play to play around my own blood moon. But if they kill this, I then can't fulminator them because I need two red. Huh. So do I Coiling Oracle and try and get ahead, or do I just Fulminator them? I think I just Fulminator them, right? Just, like, keep them keep them down. We can Fulminator them, and then we can Witness Fulminator them. Oh, well, we would have hit Blood... Well, now we just Blood Braid, right? Is 
was just about to say I feel kind of bad if I had evolution, but I guess that's not even true, right? I just get Scab Clan Berserker here and just like beat them down. Trigger. We'll play Strangle Root Geist next turn. And hit them for eight, down to five. Raging Ravine's a great draw. Haste is great, I agree. Trigger. All right, sweet. That looks really good when you do that, huh? Stone rain you, haste, 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 haste. <laughs> Welcome to everyone. Hope everyone's having a great morning wherever you're at in the world or afternoon. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a TCG player and content producer and I stream magic full time on this channel. If you're enjoying what you see, please consider subscribing on Twitch. Subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. My subscribers allow me to do what I do as often as I do it. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors, mtgotraders.com. I'd love to buy and sell some magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Uh, InkGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix and you. And I would like to remind you to hit that follow button if you're enjoying the stream. It doesn't cost you anything. It lets you know when I go live and with what. I stream anywhere between like 30 and 40 hours a week here. So lots of, lots of magic to be played. On the draw here, pretty easy mulligan. Just one land. Sounds fine. Put it down to five. His scab R. Campbell, right? How do I support antirotics to throw more money at you? Uh, we're on the draw, right? Yeah, that's actually great. There you go. Forest bird. Uh, gonna need it too. Okay, so we have we have is a charm in our opener here too. So we're playing against ad nauseum for those that are unfamiliar with what temple of enlightenment generally means. I guess we're not guaranteed to be playing against that, but we're very likely playing against ad nauseum here. Suspend the lotus bloom there. So we're gonna get to go tap land, strangle root geist, fetch land, blood bright, and then start holding up is a charm. Tron doesn't really have close, interesting games. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I agree that Tron's a good first deck for a lot of people, but if you're looking for a deck with close, interesting games, Tron is not it. Hey, well, we're having fun. Eldritch Evolution? Eldritch Evolution? Rats. If we'd have hit Evolution there, we would have gotten Shaman of the Great Hunt and just, like, smashed them over the course of two turns. Would have been quite excellent. They could theoretically kill us next turn if they have... And maybe they don't have enough cards to kill us next turn, actually. They might not have enough cards to actually kill us next turn. So next turn, they're going to have three, four, five, six, seven mana. So this is one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. So that's not quite lethal yet. So I'm just going to attack them for five here. And I'm going to hold up as a charm. But I went bottom top with their thing there. 
I'm gonna play this bird out. I'm gonna pass the turn. Hopefully if they go off, they try and do it with Phyrexian on life and not Angel's Grace or Spell Pierce is relevant. All right, if they don't have a land here, we can Spell Pierce them. They have a Simeon Spirit Guide as well. They have a Pact of Negation, yep. Mulligan to five and killed us on four. Is this their, that's their fifth turn. That's fair. Infect's fine. Just did stop eight it a couple of times. Just top eight at the open. Yeah, pretty stock at Dozium list. All right, so a braid is good. Blood Moon and Scab Clan Berserker are good. I think this might be a Fulminator Mage matchup just for like. Keeping them off of mana. Lightning Bolt's pretty bad. I think it's like basically how we boarded against Tron, right? Just like bringing in these, cutting these. What else did I cut against Tron? Oh, I didn't bring in a braid against Tron. So what else do I want to trim here? I don't want to cut any of my combo creatures. Maybe the Fulminators aren't good enough. Fulminators probably aren't good enough. I'd rather have a braid to shatter their artifacts, I think. I think I like this board plan. Feel free to comment in chat. Thoughts and opinions. Lay it out so we look at the curve. The curve's not pretty, but I think this is what we want to do. I think Witness is better than Fulminator. Maybe that's not true, actually. Maybe this is not true. What do we think? I like, yeah, Foam Over Witness. Like, this card just doesn't do much. Spell Sky doesn't stop Lightning Storm. They just Echoing Truth it. Yeah, he went as slow, and we really don't have a lot of cards that go to our graveyard that we're interested in rebuying. Turn to Scab Clan Berserker. Sign me up. Turn to Scab Clan Berserker. This card's been great. This card's been really good. Suspended two Lotus Blooms. Yep. Are they considering forcing this? They might be considering forcing this. For those who are unfamiliar with that Nauseam, they could Pact of Negation this and then Angel's Grace to not die to it. Trigger. Oh, we could just put a second Berserker into play, couldn't we? That'll be very lethal very quickly, right? Do I want to just put second Berserker into play? Do we think we can beat that? Is that the line? Okay. Seems fine. And these cost them eight. Trigger. This needs more Leywides. Pretty good hit too. You want a bar? Which kind of bar do you want? This one. Okay. Dad brought some snacks down, so you knew you'd want snacks. Oh, 
they could potentially go off next turn then. Does holding up a braid do anything for me? It doesn't really, right? They're just gonna they're just gonna have Angel's Grace that doesn't even kill us next turn. It's unfortunate. Maybe I was supposed to fulminator them. Well, I guess that doesn't really do anything either. A braid on their upkeep doesn't really accomplish much. I guess it accomplishes something if they don't already have ad nauseum, but even though that doesn't work either because, so like, does it have a meaningful impact on the game? It doesn't, right? It's unfortunate they're not one point of health lower because if they were one lower, the, uh, the Angel's Grace would kill them with the triggers in response, but I'm one, I'm one point of, like, if any of these cards were Lightning Bolt, we could, we, they'd be dead. Yeah, so they can't go lower than one here because of the Angel's Grace, so if they have Ad Nauseum, we're dead. Maybe I'm just supposed to leave some bolts into race. And like, sh I should have played the Coiling Oracle, not that it really matters. Um, nah, it just doesn't matter, because like we're either dead or they're dead. Um, like, I, I can't even shatter these because they still have five mana with the other one. So maybe they don't have Ad Nauseum. I guess, I guess, um, I guess shattering one of these would have played around Cantrip into Ad Nauseum. So I have, I have made a mistake here now. So this is this is a mistake. So if they can trip into the ad nauseum, which if they didn't have if they didn't have it, so yeah. So I should have I should have shattered one of these during the upkeep because I wasn't thinking about can trip into ad nauseum. So I did make a mistake here. Which fair is fair. Yep, looks like we're getting punished. Yep. All right, so if they didn't have the Ad Nauseum in their hand, I could have shattered a Lotus Petal during their upkeep in order to keep them from playing that. Yep. And they like, they had to have the Angel's Grace there, but I definitely could have potentially played around what happened. We don't know for sure. Maybe they were just like jerking off to play the, the Serum Visions there. They like wanted to play around a Counterspell or something, but hey, there's a very po real possibility that they just like didn't have the Ad Nauseum and I should have, I should have shattered that their thing. Yeah, maybe Ben. We'll see. We'll see how their timelines line up. They haven't even posted a release date yet, so who knows when they're going to release. I mean, Ad Nauseum is just like, like Simeon Spirit Guide, right? Like Simeon Spirit Guide is one of the stains on Modern. It's just like, this is the type of card that like we would never print in a million years anymore, but just like, it still exists in Modern for whatever reason. There wasn't any upside. It was just a mistake. Yep, the up upside was non-existent. It didn't exist. I just talked myself into the shatter effect not mattering, so I just didn't do it and I hit my auto pass key. And I didn't, I didn't think about the fact that can trip into Shatter. Like, they were dead the following turn regardless, so I should have just... Like, bluffing a counterspell was the upside, I suppose. Bluffing a counterspell was the upside. But, like, just, like, not, real, not a realistic upside, really. Sounds pretty good. Do you know, tap land into Copper Line, Coiling Oracle. If we're really lucky, we'll get to play a turn three Blood Raid Elf. There, I don't think Maggots to the Moon is almost ever better than Blood Moon. It's like against exactly Abzan. 
The problem is that a lot of the decks that you want to Blood Moon in the format have access to red removal. So like they just get to like bolt the Magus of the Moon. Land please, land please. God, we're so good at this. Just a just a professional Quirlic Oracle player here. So 23 lands looks like it might be a little high for a deck like this, but Coiling Oracle definitely encourages us to play more lands. He is, he's a good dude. <laughs> the best, you could, one could argue that Coiling Oracle is the best snake elf druid that's ever been printed. It's a strong, strong argument to be made. Best snake elf druid ever printed. The, the card literally got revealed and came into play. What's the... I just... Let's go, that, go away. You need more bar? You want this bar? No. You want more red bar? Mm -hmm. You want more red bar? All right, Dad's got to go upstairs and get some red bar. I'll be right back, Chad. We have, a, we have an extreme red bar shortage. I'll be right back. Yeah, red bar box is upstairs. All right, I think, I think I'm gonna just cast Eternal Witness and pick up Bloodbraid here. They're both elves, to be fair. These are my my two favorite elves here. They work well together too. They're like team team elf. And did I did I let you know we're playing modern elves this morning? How many decks will I be streaming today? This is my last deck for the morning, and then I'll be back again tonight. What a tilt. They're down to seven here though. So like, you know. If they don't have a creature here, they're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. That's a good draw on their part. Grab a steam vents here. We do have two witnesses, Burgle. We do have two witnesses. All right, here's a question. Do I just evolution for shaman? No, that plays into a soft stub, Burgle. That plays into a soft stub. I think I'm just supposed to go get shaman, right? Just give him the business. Because Shaman puts them to three, which makes this bolt lethal down the line. No, I don't I don't want to play into soft stub. I don't want to play into soft stub. I just like go get shaman and then bolt them. Charm doesn't hit players, chat. This card would be insane. It would be a four of in every blue-red deck if it hit players. Can, however, shock that one. So let's hit you down to three here, your move. We have a nice suite of hasty, we do. We have a nice suite of hasty things. I agree. 
Our hasty, our hasty cards are great. Bolt. Scavangling ooze. That's decent. Well, now, now soft stub's a real boy. Soft stub is now a re for the reason you just saw to have a large hasty threat to attack our opponent with. Blood braid elf. All right, let's. Uh... See what happens here. Hey Jeff, I've been watching and lurking for probably six months now and catch most of the YouTube replays because I'm an adult and I have to do awful things like work. So here's money for all the entertainment you provided. Put it towards the Grixis Kiki deck in modern. Thanks, Bearded Coffee Man. I appreciate that. Will do. I assume I assumed we were getting stubbed there, but like, you know, it is what it is. If they attack next turn i'm probably gonna jump with the scavenging oh like i guess they have to play a land they have to have a red shock in order to yeah i guess i should have bolted during the upkeep right you're right you're right i should have bolted during the upkeep to to, to stress their mana more scab clan berserker seems kind of nuts here right roast seems good as well scab clan berserker seems quite excellent Scam Clan Berserker seems quite excellent. Is this a bolts out matchup? How do we feel about just cutting my bolts? How do we feel about cutting my bolts? Is that nuts? I mean, the card they're printing in a theme deck is gonna have its price fall soon, yes. I don't, I don't know, like, I'm not, I'm no MTG finance expert, but I bet the card that's gonna get printed in a theme deck is gonna have its price fall. Why not cut? Is it charm? Okay, that's fair. Yeah, is it charm just kind of medium? I believe that. I don't think this is a Blood Moon matchup, especially not on the draw. You like Pia? I don't know that I want more expensive cards, although I guess I'm keeping my elves. I'm going to trim an evolution in two bolts. I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this. How do we feel about this one, chat? So I'm cutting two charms, two bolts, and an evolution. And I'm cutting... I'm cutting these. What else am I cutting? What else did I cut? I'm not bringing these in. So I'm leaving these. I'm cutting these five for these five. I'm gonna do this. So for those that are new to decks like this, I'm trimming an Eldritch Evolution because if we Eldritch Evolution and we get it counterspelled, we still lose the creature that we sacrificed, which feels really bad. So this hand has an uncastable goblin in the opener, but it's got our two elf friends. So I think this is a keep. I'm like not excited about this hand, but I'm going to keep it. They just kept a no lander on the play at seven. Sure, sure. Com competitive modern league. Yep. Sure, all right. Watch us lose this game. Watch us lose this game. It does kind of suck that we drew land, land, and then missed with the Coiling Oracle, but it is what it is. Can't do anything about that. I assume they have another discard spell to make take this other Blood Braid away. So... I'm going to fetch a stomping ground here and eat their Gurmag Angler right now, just in case they have a Tassigar in their hand. And maybe I should have just played Forest to do this, but I definitely, I definitely want to eat something now before they get a chance to untap. And I'm going to start attacking. I just need to kill them. 
If they don't have a death shadow. If they do have a death shadow, I have a roast. If they don't have a death shadow, I want them dead. Like next turn, I can just go eat, 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 and like have a six, six and like hit them for seven. Assuming they take my blood braid off of the thought seize here. Are we done here? All right, good keep, good keep. No, blood braid's great. I have, I have a wonderful article summarizing a bunch of data post unbanning from large tournaments that isn't biased by a bunch of crappy magic online data. This hand needs a blue source, but it's pretty good. Even that's like fine without a blue source. So we're gonna give it the old college best here. We do need a bolt to be interactive against storm game one though. That's kind of unfortunate that like we drew another non-blue source. Hopefully they don't have Burrell. Hopefully it's Electromancer. It's just nothing. That's good for us. I'll take I'll take a little bit of nothing. It's another it's another Should there just be Scob Clan Berserkers in my main deck? Should we be boarding into Tireless Tracker? Is that is that the life we're living? We'll just main the Scab Clans and board into Tireless Trackers. Find out if we're dead here. The so hive mind, just because you're looking for a specific card doesn't mean you shouldn't thought scour yourself. Thought scouring your your thought scouring yourself and milling a card you were looking for really isn't any different than just never having drawn that card. Yeah, I think the matches where Scab Clan is bad, like Tireless Tracker is much better against like Jund, right? And Abzan. Why why would I shock that? They don't play Spell Pierce. They play Remand. What what's what's what do I stand to gain by shocking that? Yeah, I don't I don't have blue mana. See if they have a remand here or not. Looks like they do. It's unfortunate. I guess it technically powered up our strangle root geist, right? Technically gave us plus one power. Am I dead? They'd be dead this turn if that evolution would have resolved. I assume we're dead. Feeling pretty dead. Gonna concede to ritual, ritual gifts. I mean, I think I said all there is to say. It's just like, if you mill a card you are looking to draw, it's no different than if you never drew that card. Like, your the statistics of you drawing a land are no different than if you bury the top two cards at random. Or are we just clearing my board? That would be decent for me means I get to get another turn. We do need to draw blue mana now, though. If we're not dead, we need to draw blue mana. Okay. So, they didn't kill me. Is it crazy to just blood braid here since we drew it? Who would blood braid? Who would bolt? I think we're supposed to blood braid. I think I'm just supposed to, like, beep beep and run at him. It's, yeah, I think it's just spin the wheel, right? Who knows? This could even be a bolt. Ding. Trigger. Steam vents. Tilt. That's really unfortunate. All right. Bolt this. We might just get them because their hand's a little anemic here. Oh, wait. Did I? Fuck, I missed lethal, chat. I missed lethal. Oh, I missed lethal. Dang it. This. I could have cast this. Oh, jeez. If they kill us, I deserve to die. 
Yeah, there was a. I should have evolved into shaman. Yeah, should have evolved into shaman. I was so set on using the. I was so set on using the, the eternal witness that turn that I just I missed it. It's completely on me. Completely on me. Yeah, no justice stream. No justice stream. No blue man and no justice. All right. Things we do not have here, blue mana or justice. All right, let's cut these tireless trackers. I want these four cards. What am I cutting? So the tireless trackers are definitely something we want, but I want all four of these cards. I'm not sure what else I want to cut. Like all of these cards seem okay. Like scavenging ooze technically interacts with their combo a lot of the time. In Technic, we're four for four on boarding in Scab Clan Berserker. Hey, Yeah, witness could be slow. Again, we just don't have a lot of things to witness back. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now, is it Charms a Counterspell and it's removal for their, their one thing? That seems fine. Not exciting, but fine. No, I don't think so, Burgle. I think having more, re or Bob, I think having more access to my cards is good. I think generally we can hopefully be pressuring them to a point where they can't always hold up counter magic. Do, 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 do. No, I don't, I don't think you ever cut combo pieces in a matchup where we're potentially racing. I think if could we be racing is something we need to think about, we just never cut a combo piece. Oh, that's, that is a thing. Yep. Now I'm glad I left my uses in. Well, that's unfortunate. Spells, please. All right. Some of the decks at the open this weekend had two ascensions in the board. So... It's uh, it's a pretty good one. So we're definitely attacking for one here, and then I probably just want to cast this while they don't have remand up, right? Probably just want to cast this while they don't have. This does give them an opening to go mana creature kill us or kill us with this next turn, but holding the bolt up doesn't give us a ton of insurance. So I think I want to just stick my card. Put them put in, coach. Put them in. And you'll double negate. Oh, you know what? Because they're on Ascension and I have Scavenging Ooze, maybe I'm supposed to, like, fetch a Breeding Pool there. Zoop, zoop! Zoop, zoop! The beatdown plan in this deck is so great. And by great, I mean it's like super anemic by modern standards, but I just, I love it. Loving every minute of it. Loving every minute of it. Loving every minute of it. Yay, bad haste creatures that were barely modern, that were barely standard playable. Yay. Maybe I'm not supposed to fetch. This lets them like ritual gifts. Yeah, letting them ritual gifts is probably bad. And like the two health points I'm saving by doing this now doesn't really matter. So this fetch is probably incorrect. Eh. Or we're just bolting me, sure. I mean like, if you're a bolting me, it doesn't really matter if you wait, right? I guess they're like playing around dispel by doing it then. Scavangling ooze. All right, so he was a very good boy trying his very best. So this needs two counters or three. So it's two or more. That's unfortunate. So if they have another bolt, I can't prevent this from happening. This is three, four, five, six, seven. So this isn't lethal. I think we just scoos. I think we just smack them for five and then play the scoos. Just like shock this in, play this with two green up. Like eat their serum visions immediately.
I think, I think I want to Uzi eat their visions. Playing the strangle root guys doesn't make the clock faster, so there's no reason to like play that out. I also probably shouldn't have shown them the screen source before I left this resolve. I should have like made sure this resolved and then shocked this in. So now, eat this visions, leave one up here. Yep, yeah, so we want we want to eat them. We want to eat their spells proactively. Yeah, yeah, it was it was fine. It was nothing to write home about, but it was fine. Didn't even need to scob clan berserk of them. All right, chat, I have to run to the restroom really quick, and then when we come back, we're going to finish this league. This deck is sweet. I like this deck a lot. This is my number one pick for Milwaukee so far, I think. I, I really like playing this deck, but be right back. Be right back. Thanks for getting out. Mommy's at work. Mommy's here. I'm gonna be home in a little bit. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a combo kill in it. It's got like this okay aggressive plan. It's got some toolboxy type things. It just does everything. It does everything I wanna be doing. Keeps his favorite decks from going public by 418, right? We strategically punted to ad nauseum so the deck list wouldn't get published on Watsi's site. It was a, it was a strategic punt. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Just like, like we're playing, like these are, this is like a good magic card, right? So like if we play some other good magic cards around it, we'll probably win plenty of games. It's pretty good. Bolter thing on one, Strangle Root on two, Eldritch Evolution in two, Eldritch Evolution into a thing on three. So only on Copper Line Gorge here, just in case they give us something we want to bolt, like a young Pyromancer. There weren't any Kiki Jikis in the last set of 5 0 lists. I was very sad. Another Grixis Shadow deck. Smells like it. Nope. Grixis Control, maybe? Time to speculate on Shaman and Scab. Is, is Shaman of the Great Hunt a mythic? Oh, yeah. Shaman of the Great Hunt Spike is coming, chat. The great, the great Shaman Spike of... The great Shaman Spike. All right. Run this into a counterspell here. Yeah, you're supposed to Coiling Oracle. I feel like they're going to counter whatever I play here. Definitely gonna be hey, we finally found a matchup where tracker is gonna be good, but scab clan's probably also good here. So like we're gonna play both post board most likely. So we're just gonna like board it in scab clan five out of five games this league. Five out of five matches. So 
So if I would have played this and it would have resolved, I'd have hit a land last turn, but I'm not sure that this would have resolved last turn, honestly. So I'm gonna shock this in to hold Bolt up in case they chase us. That's fair, Burgle. That's fair. That, that's a fair assessment. Like, the Geist is also more valuable because I have this Eldritch Evolution in my hand as well. 54 cents and 20 cents, respectively. It looks like we're going to flood out and die here, but that's why we play best of three, right? I think I'm supposed to hold this tireless tracker. What do we think? It feels like they're just holding cryptic command, right? So I want to just like wait to double spell. I want to just wait to double spell in a turn, I think. I think I'm just going to play a landed pass. Hey, tracks with the bits. Thank you very much. Drawing uh, all the copies of the cards that we're going to board out in the matchup feels really bad. You ugly goblin. Ugly, ugly goblin. And like even, even double spelling at this point is becoming pretty unrealistic just because like they, they have all these lands. Yeah, Dra Drago definitely does not favor us. Does definitely not favor us. I mean, bolting them doesn't do anything. The bolts, like, are useful for killing their Jaces later, so... Like, the third bolt's kind of okay, I guess. Like, they're almost real cards. They're almost real cards. Yeah, our poker hand is almost certainly better than their poker hand. That is that is definitely true. Pup 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 poker face pup pup poker face pew 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 All right, that was the droid we were looking for. Give me another creature. All right, deal. Um. Untap you. We don't actually have to hit them that many times with these bolts in our hand, which is kind of great. Deal. She's she's dead, Jim. Yeah, got her. Oh, uh, well, they, they have Field of Rune, which is why I have not tried to fire up the Raging Ravine. Just an exercise in fertility. Which is part of the reason why I'm only playing one ravine. Like a lot of the fair matchups where you really want ravines effect. Maybe I should have upstairs bolted there. Just because uh because we're gonna have to discard the hand size otherwise. Yeah, MTGO, MTGO Traders' prices are usually pretty good. I'm buying stuff. I generally sell tickets to them. So, uh, small tip project swamp if you're selling out. It takes a little bit more work, but you generally make a small amount more money if you, um, if you sell your cards for tickets and then sell the tickets for cash. So... Do I want to just like upstairs bolt them here? I think I do. So people are commenting that I haven't played a land. I'm holding this land for forever get to resolve this tireless tracker is what I'm what I'm doing there. We're holding the land in case we ever get to stick the tireless tracker because this this is worth two card draws with the tireless tracker. You feel of ruining me? Recall against commanding me. I'm 
I'm gonna discard one of these evolutions. That card's not getting not getting much better. So I think well and diddle my coiling oracle here to start. Um I'm gonna attack for four and then I think I'm going to okay, we're gonna attack for one now. And I think I'm gonna like nah, maybe I'm not actually. Maybe I'm just gonna cast this evolution. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start by casting this evolution. I potentially miss a point of damage this way, but like they hopefully don't have two counter spells and then I'm gonna get to stick this tireless tracker, draw some cards. Like I'm expecting this to get cryptic commanded. If they don't cryptic command this, we get eternal witness and get back blood right elf, which would be good for us. All right, now this is our, this is our best window for this to happen. This is our best window for this to resolve. They have another cryptic command. Yeah, they just have a second cryptic command. I feel like we gave ourselves an okay shot to win here. Uh, just things not lining up our way. I'm gonna fetch a basic island here and cast a scavenging ooze. If they have a snapcaster mage, they get to kill it, but like they were gonna get to kill it regardless. They get to snap cryptic it next turn otherwise, so. This is a little bit bad against snap K command, I guess, because then I lose lightning bolts, I suppose. Just a bolt is fine. We do almost have them in a double bolt range, which is true. Which is definitely true. All right. So I'm going to make them... I'm going to make them fire fire off their field of rune here. Hey, Griffin Bruce. I've been here so long and barely introduced to chat. Take this opportunity to say, play whatever you want. Is you just whatever. <laughs> uh, thanks for the... Thanks for re and Griffin Bruce. I appreciate it. Welcome back. So yeah, I think I just pass here and like maybe try to hope to steal this with bolts and blood braids. I think we're just hoping to steal with bolts and blood braids at this point. Hopefully they're mostly on E by now. You have strangle root guys that are pretty good draws as well. Maybe I should have gotten a green source there. I'm actually kind of light on green meta. Expect this to die here. Yeah. Do I want to just put them to one? I think I want to just put them to one, right? No, I think I want to just bolt them now. Yeah, I think I think I want to just like put them to one. Go. And they get a, a look, a draw step, and then an activation here. So, and they kept the card on top. So I, I assume we're dead here. We do have blood braid elves and like more bolts to steal games potentially, but I think, I think this is our best line to potentially win the game. I'm sure this is just like another cryptic command. Or they can ask Kant into a cryptic command even. Alright, if they miss here, we might have a chance. They've already played two cryptics. That's a thought scour, that's not a cryptic command. <laughs> Are you Are you dead? Yes! Oh, good lord, I cannot believe we fucking won that game. 
That was that was unreasonable. That I Brady. Oh Brady. Get in there. Snapcaster mage. Alright. Alrighty. Um So evolution is poop. Let's cut that one. Let's cut Kiki Jiki. I think I want to cut Pester Might. Um, lightning bolts pretty medium. I know bolt won us that game, but it's pretty medium. Oh, oh birds are pretty poop, right? Let's just cut those. Hello, Scab Clan Berserker, my old friend. Uh, is this a Blood Moon matchup? I think it's a Blood Moon matchup, right? It probably stresses their mana enough that it's worth playing. If I'm leaving, the random goblin's probably better than the, the third. Bolt does kill Jace. That's tough. That's tough. Coiling Oracle is very good. It is a creature that draws us a card that eventually kills them. I don't know that the negate is worth it. I really just don't want dead cards to cascade into. I don't think this is worth it for kill. I, I, I have Fulminator Mages and Blood Moons to till off as Kanta. So I think I like this. How do we feel about Kiki versus the third bolt? How do we feel about Kiki versus the third bolt? I don't know how I feel about Kiki versus the third bolt. No, I'm cutting my birds of paradise. I don't think I want to cut a land. Yeah, I think patience is our friend. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the bolt. I think I like the little bit of reach and like insulating against Jace is fine. Uh, this hand obviously needs blue mana, but we get to curve this into this, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Opponent mulligan to six. They don't have a counter spell on two. The Strangle Root Geist is pretty good against them. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with that assessment. Uh, but Buck, Buck articulated why the Kiki Jiki out is probably fine. That's true, too. Sweet. Oh, they don't have a... All right, no spell snare. No spell snare. No spell snare. Let's get hasty. Please be a tap land. 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 Rax! Spell snare. Rax. Rax. We're definitely supposed to jam that there, but spell snare feels bad. Not. We're not here to not jam chat. So, is this a stone rain turn? How do we feel about stone rain? <laughs> what do we think, Twitch chat? Should we stone rain my opponent? The answer to that question is always undeniably yes, right? Honestly, it's probably just Fulminator... And then don't stone rain them. Just like leave it, leave it on the board. Yeah, I think, okay, so here, this is an actually an interesting situation. Um, are we supposed to stone rain them or am I just supposed to pressure them with this? They're at 15, right? I think we're just supposed to pressure them with this Fulminator Mage, right? I, I think I'm just supposed to pass the turn here. Am I supposed, like, because, like, eventually they have to kill this, right? Yeah, I like hitting them with Fulminator Mage and making them act first. Because, like, eventually we get a two-for-one out of this Fulminator Mage. It's going to kill a land and get a removal spell out of them. Okay, so we're getting, we're getting punished for my line. We're getting punished for my line. So there's not that many Jaces in their deck, so I think it's worth not do, not playing around it here. But we're definitely getting punished for not giving, not letting them, not taking them off the mana. We'll see. I think I think this is the I think what I did was correct. So like the fact that they had a Jace here doesn't make waiting wrong. They bought him to card, so hopefully we find a Blood Braid Elf or a Bolt here. Bolt is very good. Bolt's actually a really good draw, right? Because we get to witness plus Bolt. We drew a land. Okay, I guess that's not surprising. 
So I'm going to hit their Jace for two. It's not even about hindsight. And that's what's tough. That's what's tough about... Um, no, I'm not using this as a term to loot. I think that's loose. And that's what's tough about playing a game like Magic is like you can make what I'm pretty sure is a correct percentage play and still lose. I think we're just supposed to stick the Glenelendra here. I think we're just supposed to stick the Glenelendra here. If they want to like use their Jace to unsummon my Glenelendra, that's fine with me. That's If that's their turn, that sounds great. No, I think I just want to be resource efficient, Burgle. Like this encourages them to like not get card advantage with their Jace again, which is good for us. We are three and one in this league and we are up a game in this fifth match. Okay. This is the type of game Jace is very good in. This is this is the type of game Jace is very good in. Are we gonna double kill my Glenelendra? Yep. 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 Okay. Bloodbreed? Scavenging ooze. That's actually pretty good, right? I think I want to just witness pick Geist back up, right? Do I want to witness pick Geist back up or do I want to witness pick Glenn back up? I like picking Geist back up because it allows me to pressure the Jace, which is appealing. Yeah, I think I want to witness Geist. I mean, like, do we have any lines that play around push? Even this line isn't great against push. But I mean, like... We're, our, our lines involve playing two drops this turn. So, like, sure, they could have another spell snare, but, like, it is what it is. So, we're going to smash both of these into Jace, I think. Definitely want to try and get that off the table. If they go to block Fulminator Mage, I think I'm going to Stone Rain them in response. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take them off of Steam Vents here. So we, we ended up getting pretty punished for not Fulminator Maging my opponent aggressively. Which sucks, but it is what it is. No, I think I want to cut them off of red rather than kill the creature land. I think I'd rather cut them off of red to prevent Bolt Snap Bolt again next turn. I guess they're likely to draw another land because they have Jace going, but... I don't know, I kind of like cutting them off of it. I think I'm just swinging both of these into Jace. I assume they have removal for this witness. That's unfortunate. Yeah, def definitely want to stick scavenging use ASAP.
It is a charm. This Culligan's command. I'm gonna eat their Snapcaster Mage proactively here. We are mostly out of resources here, which sucks. So like saying spell snare over and over again really doesn't do anything. Like talking about cards that your opponent could have is only relevant if you have the ability to play around them. So like, yes, they could have a spell snare. Do I have a line? No, I, I want to play around Stabcaster Mage Burgle. If they go to bolt my thing, I'll just eat in response. I'm not going, I'm not going to activate the scavenging at their end of turn. Chat, chat, how does undying work, chat? How does undying work, chat? Think about it. Think about it, chat. How does how does undying work? I try you're you're a big strong chat. I promise you can get there. I promise you can get there. How does undying work? So do I Fire up Raging Ravine here. We didn't attack with Raging Ravine because I had other things to do with my mana. Is why I didn't attack with the Raging Ravine. It died inside of combat, Brad. And then it came back untapped. It traded with a Snapcaster Mage inside of combat. I think I'd rather just play this, right? Yeah, attacking with Ravine doesn't do anything. I agree. Now this could this could find a Bloodbraid Elf. Honestly, I don't think I don't think I want to fire up the Raging Ravine. They just field of Rune it, and then I don't have snap, and then I don't have Scavenging Ooze up. Yeah, I think they want to use the field of Rune either way too. I agree with that assessment. I think they need to shuffle this Jace Brainstorm that's got bad cards in it. Hopefully. Hey, thanks for the bits. Is this Jace dead? Did we play through this Jace? Oh, God, we played through this Jace. That's so good. All right, I'm going to eat... I'm going to eat a Fulminator Mage out of my bin. I think it's the least likely of my creatures I'd like to get back just so this can't get bolted. Just, like, nip that right in the bud. Then a call against command. I mean, we are an Eldritch Evolution deck. They they don't know that we cut most of our non-creature spells. I did cut most of our non-creature spells, but they don't know that. Okay, another Jace is bad for us. Is this just unsummoning or are they looking for a fatal push? All right, yeah, I'm just going to... Go ham on their discard pile here. Hopefully we hit a bolt or a blood braid. Hopefully we hit a bolt or a blood braid. Or a scab clan. Scab clan berserker also does it. We need something with haste. Is it charm? I don't... We have so many live hits to kill this Jace, right? I'm just supposed to loot, right? Like, it means I lose the Scavenging Ooze if I hit one, but I think I'm supposed to loot, right? I think I'm supposed to loot. Uh, Murphbo, I linked my spreadsheet in the subs Discord if you want to look at it firsthand. Yeah, I think, I think we're supposed to loot. Oh, this feels kind of medium, but we definitely just want to take the Jace off the table. Well, I mean, if we looted into land, that would have been fine. If we looted into land, man, a Blood Moon would be a sweet, Blood Moon would be a sweet draw here. Blood Braid Elf into Blood Moon would be a sweet draw. Land is not a sweet draw. We're gonna hold this land in our hand because we have two copies of Tireless Tracker to draw. Declan, calm, calm down, dude. Sorry, Declan learns from his father, so he's obnoxious because I'm obnoxious. Shh. 
Inside voice, child. I I mean, like, they drew a land, too, so, like, we're definitely ahead right now. Declan. Dude, this is Dad's last match, and then we'll go upstairs and play. It's a pretty good one. Oh, you know what? I should have played this pre-combat, right? Because this lets them trade Tar Pit for my thing. Yeah, this was a mistake. I should have, uh... Although now they can't snap counter squall me, so that's good for me. Now they can't snap counter squall me, so this is actually this worked out for us. So they're gonna they're gonna clear this up. Details on the Discord here. Sweet. So we get to stick this. Again, I'm gonna keep holding this land because of Tireless Tracker. Oh, this lets them get their swamp. Maybe this is bad for us. Wait, do they not have it? Did they bury their swamp? They buried their swamp, okay, deal. And I wanna kill their creeping tar pit, right? So. There's, there's their swamp, chat. There's their, there's their swamp. We haven't tried a single blood braid this game, have we? 25 cards into our deck. And again, I'm just holding all of these. Like, we're not, we can play a tracker through a mana leak. So if we draw a tracker and they don't have removal, I want to draw the most cards possible with it. We have a third fucking Jace. We've just drawn mono lands. Uh, they've drawn three Jaces and we've hit zero blood braids. Come on. Come on. Give daddy a blood braid. Give daddy a blood braid. Yeah. Yahtzee. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. I'm going to play a land here now because I would like to play around stuff. Like to play around a blood moon. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Let's go. Oh, I should have left up more green, I guess. Scavenging uses a, a reason to leave up more green. Yep, wasn't thinking about it. I was like, there's no reason to leave up red, right, other than, like, stupid bluffs. So, yeah, should have left up two green here. So my, my scavenging ooze is boltable when it doesn't need to be. Although they're through, they're through a bunch of bolts, so... This is a logic knot. We'll see what it's countering. Yep, targeting the blood braid. Inside voice. It's my inside. I get to be as loud as I want. I need to play a touch faster. We're only up a minute on clock, and I generally like to be up a little bit more than that. They have an active Jace, so we're probably in trouble. Yeah, yeah. If our if our Scooze gets bolted here, I'm gonna feel really bad about myself. A second BBE would be great. What did we reveal? We we put some lands on the bottom. That's awesome. Gab Clan Berserker would be decent, I agree. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat. Now I'm not gonna eat anything, right? They have, they've only played one, two Snapcaster Mages and they definitely have four. Yeah, I'm just gonna untap. Let's not let them snap Thought Scour. That's a pretty good draw. That's, that's a pretty good draw. I'm going to attack first. I don't want to rebuy BBE this turn, so I don't want to put Scavenging Ooze down. I want Scavenging Ooze to never... I don't want their Snapcaster Mages to ever be live. They're, they're through 37 cards of their deck. I don't want their Snapcasters to be live. If I do this, and then when I play Bloodbraid, they could snap... 
they could snap logic knot yeah i think i think just like guaranteeing their snapcaster mages are dead is worthwhile to us this does let their jace live another turn but like they're not they're not clearing their brainstorms with jace so Oh, this kind of clears the brainstorm, I guess. Kind of. Need a hard reset. And remember, we are up a game, so if this one does get away from us, we do get another. And again, I'm just going to continue trying to make sure Snapcaster Mage is a dead draw for them. I don't want them to cantrip it. So they should be running low on like actual win conditions at this point. All right, so. And they still have nine minutes. That's plenty of time. Yeah, they, sh they should have a Pia and Kieran Nalar in their deck. <laughs> opponent said GG's. GG's opponent. Sweet. All right. So we got the 4-1. We potentially punted our loss to Ad Nauseam. I also feel like... Our sideboard plan against Ad Nauseam isn't particularly good. So, um, I don't know. I need to think about what I want to do against spell-based combo decks with this deck. But I like this deck a lot. It's it's a lot of fun. I enjoy I enjoy playing it. Can you bring Declan here before you log off? Of course, Declan, the internet needs to see you. Can you come see the internet? No. No. Hey, you, can bring your, you can bring your phone with you. Can you say hi? Meet a little Declan in the morning. Can you say hi, Declan? There's Declan on the TV. See, Declan's on the screen. Is Hex gonna be back on the schedule next week? Yeah, I think it's gonna be. Okay, okay, okay. You can get down. I I think if Hex releases, if Hex releases this week, I'm probably gonna stream on Thursday or Friday afternoon. But we'll we'll see. Uh, at any rate, thank you everyone for watching. If you didn't catch all this league, we played for about an hour and a half. We played all five matches. Um, I'm going to get it uploading to YouTube now, and it'll be uh, processed after after the facts. It'll probably be live to view on YouTube in about half hour, 45 minutes. If you're a subscriber, you can watch it right now on Twitch on the past VOD section. But if you're not a subscriber, you'll have to wait for YouTube. So uh, I will be back later this evening. I'm going to be streaming Legacy tonight and Legacy tomorrow night. And then I'll be back with more modern action come Thursday morning. So thanks, everyone, for hanging out. And I'll uh, see you later tonight, hopefully. Everyone have a good rest of your day.